Hi guys, uh, welcome to part four of the uh, Warhound Titan video log. Um, the parts pile is getting getting smaller, to be fair. So did did quite a bit last night, um, and the, just this morning quickly, just show you. I've done some magnetization on the void shields. So we've drilled up some three mil magnets in the the receivers for the void shields and put some magnets in the void shields themselves and again like the last Titan they're all, they're all um, obviously the same polarization and they just all click on there so that was nice nice little easy job just to um, be able to have removable void shields so that's those and we also did the sensor on this plate here so that's that and this bit goes in the carapace that's removable so that all goes up in there with the um, with the mesh screening on top there so that's that that's a little bit of magnetization well there's not much more magnetization to do to be honest I'm gonna be looking to do the head um, to the body and that's probably about it everything else is done weapons are done I'm not going to bother <coughs> magnetizing the leg armor with the Mars pattern. You get two sets of leg armor, so it's it's I don't know. It's uh, handy to magnetize them, so you can swap them if you want to. Um, but this uh, Lucius pattern only comes with one set of leg armor, so I'm just going to glue that on. And with the previous Mars pattern as well, I magnetize the waist armor. Um, I'm not going to bother. It's just going to get glued on. There's there's, <laughs> there's no point really. Um, so right, the main bit of work we've done. is the beast itself right so I have used a load of um, wall filler from the pound shop to build up the sides of this bit of terrain fill in all the gaps and make it look kind of rocky so I might put some more on once this is dried I mean it's nearly gone off but um, so I'm quite happy with that and basically we finished the legs, well we finished one section of the legs so we'll just take him off the pin so we know about this leg and we went across we knew that this was level, the waist and I've worked all my way down and there's the foot so each leg has 43 I think 43 separate components with all the pistons all these are separate so this, this toe piston here is two separate it's two separate um, pieces and these pistons here all need to be cut to length um, so you've got one two three four bits of, of piston material that you need to cut for each toe and then you, these are all jointed as well as you know so you've got your toe and your joint <clears throat> and this bit here that goes into the sole of the foot so everything's completely posable glued on the ankle pistons as well for one leg Still got to put in the the knee pistons, but that's not too much bother. So basically, I'll try and show you. He is stepping up onto this mound, and then his feet. He's kind of bending his toes, lifting his leg up, and walking up up this little little hill. So that's it so far. I'm gonna carry on. Oh, I'll just show you the and the back toe as well. That's just the back toe there. Um, so that's that's that took quite a long time actually, um, getting it all set, measuring it up, um, and and cutting all the pistons to length. That sort of took an evening, just of you know um, relaxed hobbying, if you like. Um, so that's that. I'm going to finish the work on the other foot to get all the pistons in, and then the the legs from the waist down will actually be completed. So I'll catch you in a sec. Okay, um, the second leg is, is done. The, the bottom section of the Titan is completely finished now, apart from leg armor. But, um, so we'll show you what we've got. So we saw previously the leg with the ankle pistons and the thigh armor. And we've added the hip pistons around the back and underneath. And we saw this foot here the kind of walking pose 
and now we've done these toes here which kind of curve over the rock of the base sort of shame so they kind of curve over the base so I mean this um this section didn't take me half as long as as the first foot because like I said once you're committed and you've done your forward planning once you're committed to the the angle of the the leg from the pin everything else kind of trails off it so you know and, and the height of everything is all predetermined I mean you've got some movement in the in the hip joints and stuff but not not a huge amount not as much as you think so it's really important I mean I'd advise anyway to, to just have fun with it and once once you've cleaned it blue tacks will stick to the resin and and mock it up and check that's that's the pose you want and then <laughs> take it apart and mock it up again because I mean it is an expensive model and I I think it you know deserves the time and attention to, to really kind of make a good job of it um, and it and it can go wrong quite quickly and once you start gluing these pistons in with super glue um, they're not coming out to be honest and you're gonna break it to, to get it out um, it's gonna look horrible so you know the old adage measure twice cut once and all that and I think I think the sort of same can be said for this kind of build you know really really mock it up twice <laughs> and, and and glue it once really because um, once you once you glued it I mean once you've cleaned this and you glue put super glue on it it's 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 really really strong bond um, like I said before I've only used super glue on the non-structural bits so all the toes the actual toes the, the the back joint is epoxy to the foot to the sole but all the pins and all the toes that's just super glue and it's solid all the pistons ankle pistons and hip pistons are super glued um, and all the legs are, are just epoxied um, I haven't pinned anything on this model um, super glue I'm sorry epoxy I feel will suffice um, uh, but the only thing I have pinned obviously is this leg to this base so and that's it one other thing is that I just I'd made the hole bigger um, one side kind of made this foot I f it was kind of catching on this threaded rod a little bit so I, I drilled out the hole in the base of the foot to 10 mil um, to, 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 to go over the 8 mil rod and, and this is solid now so that's it that's the first of that's the legs done um, so we're going to be moving on to the body next um, so our starting point for the body will be this back section um, and then we're gonna start mocking up um, the, the main body you know the carapace make sure that all fits nicely and so we've got four main bits really we've got the, the back section kind of engine bank if you like the two sides which is the main body of the Titan and where are we our front section so so there, there are four main bits so and in that as well we've got to fit our two servitors so they'll go around that way so they go in up underneath um, and and that's really the main construction of the the body um, we've got a door that fits in here um, I might go the other way, no it goes that way so the door fits in as well, um, that may or may not be removable I might, I might glue that in, I might not um, so that's what we're going to do next um, I'm going to, what I'll probably do is glue these back sections together I mean to be fair I've been messing with this for a few days now and it, and it fits, it all fits really nicely so just as a kind of hints and tips as we're going make sure um, nice and flush along the two edges here nice and flush he says <laughs> nice and flush with these two back sections here and all around here um, and then I know that this is going to slide in here pretty much anyway um, and that's and that's the main body of the Titan ready to go obviously this this will stay once it's glued but um, again, I'm an old JB Weld. What I'll probably do actually is, is make this and glue this together like this. 
Um, that'll be my next point because I can still paint the interior. Um, and then I might do some interior paintwork on that first and then glue that in possibly. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. And I'm not 100% sure if I can fit these servitor bays in after I've glued it together or whether I need to put them in first. So that's my next um, next my next little foray. Um, and again, you know, like I said before, have, have fun with it and, um, you know, enjoy the build, enjoy the build. It's an expensive model and uh, give it the time and attention it deserves and you'll reap the rewards. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you um, for all your comments. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers again. Uh, my subscribership seems to have um, shot up a little bit, so so that's that's really cool. I think we've we've broached the the 450 mark, which I'm really really chuffed with, and um, I'd like to thank you all for sticking with me and sticking with my channel, and um, and commenting. It really it really does mean a lot. I enjoy making the vids, and um, I like having a record for myself as well about about the builds that I do. Um, so that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna start on the body. And when I've got an update, I shall uh, upload it. So I will catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.